The Elms is a retirement park for the over 50s. It's a family run park um, and we moved here as a family in the late 1970s. It was just an open space at that time with a few caravans on it and it was shortly after that that my father decided to redevelop the park into becoming a fully residential park. The idea for people to move to the Elms is for, like Trace said, 50 plus. We are a no pets park um, and no young children or young adults live on the park, but we're trying to create a lifestyle change of peace, quiet and security. As we get older, that's get more important to us. And this is what we're trying to create, the right atmosphere here. Uh, the residents are all like-minded people. There's a good camaraderie between the residents. Yeah. So we're in the garden of a twin home here today, so that's one of the larger properties that we have. Um, all the properties at the Elms are two bedroomed. Um, just the larger properties give you a little bit more space in the rooms and separate kitchens um, rather than more of an open plan layout. And obviously all the properties here have an annex area at the rear of the property which is attaching a utility room and a um, hobby room or some just have the utility room depending on the size. But they all have a garden and uh, they all have a parking space. The larger properties mostly then have a garage as well which we have um, here uh, today and as you can see it's a beautiful tranquil setting and that really is one of the key selling features for us and one of the key reasons why people like the Elms. It's peaceful, it is rural, we do have lots of facilities coming to the park. Um, we, we appreciate that everybody still has to get their daily supplies and get their shopping in and have all the essential day-to-day -day things that you need. But aside from that, we are just tucked a little bit away from um, the hustle and bustle of daily life. Um, with having the barrier at the entrance to the park, that does control access on and off the park. So you automatically don't have people you don't know knocking at your door. Um, you know if somebody does knock, it's a visitor, it's a delivery, um, something like that. And people do actually tell us, residents, our own residents do actually tell us that when they hear the barriers go down, they automatically relax, they're home, they're at the elms and um, they're, you know, tension slips away. Having that barrier and our office at the top of the park and that only being the real main route onto the park, it does mean that the park is naturally quite secure. We're very lucky. Um, we're in an incredibly low crime uh, area but um, that said, people feel very happy to lock up the home and disappear abroad for six months, have their travels, enjoy doing whatever it is they want to do in their retirement, knowing that when they come back home, everything's going to be just how they left it. Whilst uh, we're a no pets park and children can't live here, obviously people have oodles of visitors and go about their daily lives as they would do anywhere else. Um, so we've got amenities and uh, places for people to go to when they come and visit. So children can go and have a good run around and play football or rugby or whatever up on the village park. And that's where the croquet club goes that's to play, right, isn't it, up yes. in the village. Yes. People can really have quite a good walk um, and then explore of what's um, available to see at the Elms without even leaving the park. Obviously people do leave the park, there's loads of activities and things locally. Um, we're lucky to have quite a few nice pubs and restaurants near here. We've got three or four golf courses, mm -hmm. Lincoln Golf Courses, just in the village of Torxey itself. The medical centre's in the village. On the Elms, the residents benefit from having our own private floating pontoon moorings. At the end of the moorings we have our private fishing and again at the end of the park we have our caravan and motorhome storage. So it's creating different lifestyles for residents joining the Elms in a peaceful, quiet, secure environment. In uh, 2013 we uh, were awarded the David Bellamy Conservation Award uh, of the Silver Accolade which we're all very proud of. We're um, quite unique in that we've got very large open areas. We've got 10 acres of parkland with um, lakes, fountains, lots of wildlife. We've got um, John's Woodland Walk, named after my father John Kinch and um, his wife Marion, that, that, who we came here with. Um, and the tea rooms on. just over the <coughs> other side of the lock where a number of the residents meet and just have a good catch up, chin wag. Uh, I think the red. What is it? Red hat, purple the dress, ladies. Meet red hat there. ladies. Yeah. yeah, meet there on occasion. Yeah. And so there's plenty to get involved with if that's what the residents want to do, or equally, you know, just enjoy quiet, retired life.